Welcome to This Week in Warframe, a series where I keep you updated on the past week of Warframe, from announcements made by DE that don't necessarily warrant their own videos to community fan art posts and updates. So without further ado, let's go over D's announcements and news from the 5th of November to the 11th. Now first up, the console release for the Planes of Eidolon update is now set in stone for the 14th of November. So console players, get ready and may the grind not be in your favour. Make sure to check out the website and the forum post to know exactly what you'll be receiving in the update, as it won't be coming with a lot of the recent content PC players receive. Next up we have news regarding the new operation titled Plague Star. Now the operation will be launching sometime within the next 10 days and will be taking place on the plains of Cetus. The operation will also bring back two weapons that haven't yet returned, the Snipetron and the Ether Daggers, as well as two mods, Fulmination and Sacrifice. Besides those returning items, the Operation will award players with Infested Zor Components and Event Emblem and the mods from the new Hunter mod set, which we currently have no information on besides their name. The final note about the Operation is that there will be no leaderboards this time around, instead the clan trophies will have to be built by clan members. We also have a new contest on our hands. This time round, players can create their own 25 second trailer for the game at the chance of winning the reward of $10,000. There are of course restrictions and guidelines, and I suggest you head over to the forum post and read all of the text provided, as I've seen some people fail to do so, which I don't know how that's possible. Next up we have hotfixes, starting with hotfix 22.2.4. In this update, the standing for redeeming Zorite, Diva, and Veridose gems was increased, fish component recipes had their costs reduced, as well as moving archwings to the closest section of land if it was spawned in the water. In Hotfix 22.25, DE fixed a large number of issues in the game, as well as adding expansions to the closed off caves on the plains of Eidolon in preparation for the upcoming operation. They also changed how Mutilus Allard V operates with your operator, so as of this update, if you are in your operator form, Allard will now target your mobile frame with his collar, and if it's successful, will drag you out of your operator form to fight as your warframe. Lastly, there's Hotfix 22.2.5.1, which fixed a number of issues including flying fish. Next up, as it's no longer October, the Halloween skins have been removed from the market and the Dullahan Auxiliary Mask can no longer be used. On top of that, DE Aiden stated that moustaches will not be coming back this year and it's unknown to us if they ever will. And our last update is that the 9th Prestige Pack for Xbox players will be retiring on the 15th of November, so if you want that pack, make sure to purchase it before it gets removed. Now that's all the relevant D information that I could gather for this week, so as usual we'll finish the video up with a few posts from the community. First up we have a nice clean and simple capture as shot by reddit user SZA Lay Adam. Secondly there are a number of Tenogen skins that I wish to share. First off we have Freling Hazmot's Corpora Excalibur skin that obviously goes off of that corpus feel. Secondly there's Beast Buster's Blade of Lotus collection with skins for Rhino, Trinity, and Banshee. That all look fantastic, and the Trinity helmet kind of reminds me of William Defoe's Green Goblin costume. Additionally, he posted a number of screenshots, with one of them together kind of reminding me of Destiny's classes and characters. Anyway, there's also a final Tenogen piece by the same creator, Beast Buster, and that's the Kunshu Scarf Cyan Dana. However, the way it's modelled and its positioning makes me very sceptical for its acceptance into the game. Anyways, on to the next and final community highlight, and that's another illustration by Trash Tunes, this time for Mag. And that's it for the updates and highlights this week. If you found the video informative, make sure to leave a like. If you think I can improve upon something, or you wish to share your opinion on one of the topics that I mentioned today, make sure to leave it in a comment down below. If you missed out on last week's episode, you can check it out by clicking the annotation on the screen right now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.